How America Was Discovered. I am reading from the From Sea to Sea textbook. One sunny day in Italy, a long time ago, a boy named Christopher Columbus was sitting on the seashore looking out over the water. I'm going to be a sailor when I grow up, he said to himself. I want to sail the seas to faraway lands. Columbus loved the ocean, and when he grew up, he did become a great sailor. In Columbus's time, people did not know much about the world. Many of them thought it was flat, but Columbus thought it was round. He said that he could sail around the world just as a fly could walk around an apple. Columbus wanted most of all to go to India because India was a rich country. In those days, people went to India by traveling east. But Columbus thought the world was round. He wanted to reach India by sailing west. Columbus was a poor man. He had no ships and no money. When he asked people to help him, most of them only laughed at him and thought he was out of his mind. But he kept on trying, and he did gain some important friends. Finally, he went to Isabella, the Queen of Spain. After a few years, the Queen gave Columbus three ships and wished him good luck. But Columbus still needed a crew of sailors. Sailors did not want to go on the voyage because they were afraid they would never see their homes again. They had heard stories about monsters and sea serpents attacking ships and killing the sailors. Finally, Columbus was able to gather a crew of 88 men. At last, the ships were ready. Columbus and his sailors set out across the Atlantic Ocean in the Santa Maria, the Pinta, and the Nina. The ship sailed for many days, and the farther the ships went, the more frightened the sailors became. At last they said to Columbus, We have been on the ocean for more than 30 days, and still there is no sight of land. We are hungry and afraid. We will go no farther. But Columbus answered, Wait a few more days. If by that time we have not found land, we will turn around and go back. The next day, the sailors saw a bird, and then they knew land must be near. The following morning, October 12, 1492, they heard the cry, Land Ho! There ahead of them lay a beautiful island. The sailors cheered and sang songs and the ship's cannons boomed. When the sailors reached shore, they kissed the ground because they were so glad to be on land again. They begged Columbus's pardon for wanting to give up the voyage and return home. On the way home from his first trip across the Atlantic Ocean, Columbus wrote about the lands and the Native Americans he had seen. The lands are all most beautiful and full of trees so high they seem to reach the sky. The nightingale was singing, and two other birds of a thousand sorts. The people of this island and all the others that I have found and seen are kind and generous with what they have. When I first came to the Indies, they thought I had come from heaven. They ran from house to house and to the nearby villages with loud cries of, Come, come see the people from heaven. Columbus thought that the island he had discovered was near India. He did not know that it lay next to a new continent.